All right, so in this video, we're going to use the reverse chain rule to integrate. So you have used chain rules before, but it's always been to find the derivative. So this jargon up here, the chain rule to find the derivative says that the derivative of a function to the power of n plus 1 equals n plus 1, that number, times the derivative of the function times f of x to the n plus 1. And you've definitely done this before with a question like uh, the derivative of um, 3x squared plus 5 to the power of 7. Uh, now the answer to that is going to be 7 times the derivative of this 6x times all of that to the power of 7. And you can muck around with that and factorise it and expand it and do whatever you want, but that's how you find the derivative using the chain rule. Uh, now we need to reverse all of that uh, to integrate. Alright, so I've got a little bit off the screen here, but the chain rule to integrate, the integral of f dash x times f of x to the power of n with respect to x is equal to f of x to the power of n plus 1 divided by n plus 1. Uh, and don't forget, plus c. All right, everyone's going to forget that. Don't you forget it. There's always a plus c when you integrate. Now, important to note, in order for us to use the chain rule to integrate, this is called the integrand. In the integrand, you have to either be able to see uh, the derivative of a function, okay, the derivative of the function, or a multiple of the derivative of because if there's a multiple of the derivative, we can kind of put that outside and then work from there. So here's an example. Now you can kind of just plug that into the formula and away we go. But I do want to step through this a little bit using uh, the letter U in place of something. So I'm going to rewrite this. I'm going to say let 2x squared plus 1 equals u. Alright, now I can rewrite that bit as the integral of 4x u to the 4 with respect to x. Now, small problem here, because I've got u's and x's, and we can't, we can't really work that way. So, I'm going to pull up here, I wouldn't copy that down yet, I'm going to pull up here. I'm going to say let 2x squared plus 1 equals u. Now, then I can say, therefore, the derivative of u with respect to x is equal to derivative of u with respect to x. It's just the derivative of that, which is 4x. All right, so now I've got uh, u, u. And I've also, I also know that the derivative of u with respect to x is equal to 4x. Now, I want to get rid of this dx here, this with respect to x. And I can do that by rearranging this. I can say that dx equals the derivative of u over 4x. Okay, so I've just cross multiplied there. So now I know that dx is equal to du over 4x. Now, what I can do is replace my dx with du over 4x. Alright, so let's take a look at what we've done here. The integral of 4x bracket 2x squared plus 1 over 4. You immediately think to yourself, oh wait, that's the derivative of that, so I can use my reverse chain rule. I'm going to take the, this, this one here the one that has the derivative of it, and I'm going to let that equal u. So there's our first step, step one. And then I'm going to find the derivative of that, and then rearrange it to make dx the subject. Now, if I do that, I can remove d to the x, and I can write everything in terms of u. Well, almost everything in terms of u. Now I've got the integral of 4x bracket u to the 4 times du over 4x. So if you're looking really carefully, 
we've got a 4x times and a 4x divide. This will always happen when you do something like this. So now we have the integral of u to the 4 du. And we can start working there. So it's really straightforward from here that integral of u to the 4 with respect to u is simply u to the 5, so 4 plus 1, over 5 plus c. And then we can say, okay, but u isn't u, u is 2x squared plus 1. over 5 plus c. Now, if you take a look at our, our formula here, it says that derivative times f of x to the power of n is equal to f of x, 2x squared plus 1, to the power of n plus 1, 4, 5, n plus 1, over n plus 1, 5. Now, life's going to get more complicated when uh, we start adding um, multiples to this thing, uh, but there's our series of steps. If you follow those steps, avoid putting straight into the formula, but follow those steps. Make sure you understand what those steps are doing. Um, you're going to find your life a lot easier when the harder questions start coming along.